Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we have a hydraulics hydrology problem, and in particular, this is going to be a, a flow characterization uh, problem. So here's what the question says: Water at 70 degrees Fahrenheit travels through an 8-inch outside diameter PVC pipe at a rate of 7 cubic feet per second. Uh, the wall thickness of the PVC pipe is 0.5 inches. Determine whether the flow is turbulent, in transition, or laminar. So this question is a little bit simpler than it may sound. Um, so let's write down what we think we need to know. Uh, so if you search laminar, you're going to come across sort of like a graph, uh, and it's going to have a bunch of lines on it and stuff like that. But one key component to it uh, is the Reynolds number. So this is RE, and sometimes it can be RN. Uh, they kind of interchange sometimes. So we need to find the diameter. You can find some reading material in the PE on page uh, 310 or 312, I believe. 310, 312. And then for the FE, uh, you're going to be in 201. We need to solve for the Reynolds number for this problem. So RE is equal to your uh, velocity times your inside diameter over your kinematic viscosity okay and so two of these things we we basically already know uh, our diameter this is our inside diameter well we're given our outside diameter and the pipe thickness so our inside diameter is this outside diameter eight inches minus two times our wall thickness and the reason why it's two times and the reason why it's two times is because uh, you have two wall thicknesses that's going to uh, act with you. So let me draw you a picture here. You sort of have a wall and then you have uh, a pipe. So here's your outside diameter, OD. And then you have your wall thickness there and your wall thickness there. So th there's two wall thicknesses that's going to get you to uh, your inside diameter. And so this guy ends up being seven inches. Okay. So for your dynamic or your kinematic viscosity, this guy is going to be actually in a chart. So you're going to have to find the 70 degree Fahrenheit uh, water temp. And you're going to have to look under the column that it has for kinematic viscosity. And you end up with 1.059 times 10 to the negative 5. Uh, and this is feet squared per second. Feet squared per second. Okay, so we have two unknowns now. We, we noticed that uh, we have two unknowns taken care of. So we noticed that our velocity, we don't have a velocity, but it gives us a flow rate. So huge hint for us, flow rate is equal to VA. Okay, and this is just something you need to know uh, and memorize. So Q is 7 cubic feet per second. And this guy is equal to our velocity times our cross-sectional area which in this case is going to be our uh, inside diameter. So water is only going to flow in that portion. It's not going to flow through the walls or anything crazy like that. Uh, so we need to find the diameter, the, uh, the area of that, uh, of that inner portion. So in this case, we're going to do pi times d, which is 7 inches. Let's convert that to feet real quick and divide it by 12. Uh, pi d squared over 4. Okay, so there's your area. Uh, cross-sectional area whenever you solve for V you end up with 26.1919 uh, feet per feet per second and so now we have all our unknowns for our Reynolds number so RE is equal to 26.919 sorry feet per second and we're going to multiply that by our inside diameter which is 7 inches, so we need to convert that over to feet, 7 inches over 12. Uh, and then we need to divide it by our kinematic viscosity, which is 1.059 times 10 to the negative 5 uh, feet squared per second. Squared per second. Alrighty. So we notice that this is going to end up unitless because we have feet per second times feet. So that's feet squared per second divided by feet squared per second. So we're doing good. Uh, this guy ends up being 1.44 uh, 
times 10 to the sixth power. A ton of zeros. Um, so this is actually greater than 4,000, and so therefore it's turbulent. So let's see, it's C. So I hope this video helps, and we'll catch you next time.